That's Hadara and Raphael's next challenge. You see at the top of that mountain? Well, you see that zigzaggy road right there? Hey. That's called the Snake Trail. Yes. Yeah, and they're gonna walk up it one day. They had a tourist parish. Yeah. Pass away. Yeah. A, a tourist it was passed away. It's probably like two years ago. They had a tourist pass over here at the Snake Trail. Yeah. I think she was uh, American. 19 or you know early yeah 20s. she was young and uh heat stroke or something bad happened yeah um she fell and nobody noticed that she was gone and she died of heat stroke Until she was gone yeah anyway here's the building it's basically like a museum the entrance is a museum and a restaurant and all that oh they're closed today they ain't closed i just ain't coming through here oh okay hi yeah bye Oh, okay, bye. No, they're not closed. Okay. Oh, yeah, look at all the tour buses. This is one of the first places that I went to in Israel. We together. Yep. 
and I got his military discount. Hey. Yeah. The ridiculous thing is now I'm just hey. technically not. I'm not eligible for it. Why? Because <laughs> I'm no longer a conscript. I'm no longer. Oh I'm really? Now, I'm enlisted, which is ridiculous. Wow. I think I've said this a few times, even like SeaWorld and NASA, yeah. the gift shops, I guess they recognized we're soldiers or something, haircuts, I don't know. Yeah. So we show the CAC, the CAC, it's a common <laughs> access card, which means you're military, it's like your discount card. Yeah. You just show it. Uh, oh, and we salute you and all that. Uh, so <laughs> here, it's really... here they spit on you if you're in the military. <laughs> yeah, because everybody has to do it. Oh, you stayed in there? Idiot. <laughs> and if not, then most people think that uh, IDF is terrorists. Yeah. So if you're one of those people, I suggest you go and educate yourself a little more yeah, on what you truly. are. The, the one thing that I know about the Israeli military is their... What is it that they call it? Abigail! Ethic code? It's, it's like the ethic code, but it's... Their number one rule for if you have a weapon is if you're gonna uh, point a gun, you're gonna shoot it, but the the, it's the value of human the, life. The, it, I don't know how to... Yeah, I forget um, what it's called. Like the sacredness of the weapon is what it is. And it, the, not that not a, the weapon is sacred, but human life. You're not yes. allowed to shoot it unless your life is in danger, and then there's a procedure that you have to go through. Yes, so, and it's a lot of talking. To yes. the assailant, uh, yes. I had it done one time. I showed Andrea. Yeah. So I told her, because you have to say stop three times. Stop, stop right there, stop or I'll shoot. And then you say the same thing in Arabic. And you got it. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. IDF. So it's Walk a lot. You have to say that. What's well, that again? Stop or I'll shoot, basically. Say then, it again. Wakif wal anna batuhak. Wakif? Yes. Yeah, stop. Wakif. Wakif. Cool. Or I shoot. Oh, anyway. that was Metzada, by the way, where we were at. Did we mention that? Metzada? It's over there. Yeah. And I was going to get a drone shot, but there's nowhere good. In the interim parking lot or yeah. something like that. What yeah. What has happened is, you know how the first day I got the drone, Andrea showed me crashing it. Yeah. I had to go through trees, and it's limiting me very badly. Like very close, 200 feet away from me and 200 feet or 120 foot up in the air, which is very, very limiting. Here's the dust devil. Yeah, because it's dust very... Dust devil, right here. Yeah, right there next starting. to the red. Wow. It's starting. <laughs> Ooh, it picked up that can, <laughs> threw it. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to fix the drone first and then we can just go and film things because it's impossible. I can't. Yeah, if you think 120 feet, you can she basically throw that far. She called me a newbie and now she saw it. <laughs> well, I was like, how can you not? I mean, 120 feet, I mean, what? And 200 feet, he was trying to film, you know, in the States and he was in a wooded area and those trees are taller than 200 feet. I was like, how is it possible that you can only go 200 feet in the air? So, and 120 feet away from you. So we're gonna look into that. Yeah. So if you guys know, if you know a fix for that, because it's happened in America and in Israel, and we don't know if it's like the GPS location that we're at, where it's limiting the height and the distance away from it, or if it's just like some bug. He has a, he has it set to 500 feet in the air. Meters. Or 500 meters, wow. Sounds like 1,500 feet. Oh, okay, yeah. So, if you know a fix for that, let us know. Yeah, it's a bird. This is one big ditch. Sure is. This is unimaginable. Here, get down. No, not allowed up here. Look, see that fall? Yeah. That's certain death right there. Yeah, certain death all the way down. That's right. That cave. That's right. It's very windy out here. Do you want to play in the desert? Want to play in the desert, Mommy? Uh, probably not. It's windy and windy and smoky, and now Daddy's gonna be with you.
subscribed yet please subscribe and like comment and share fully living we got to exercise and even though i really don't like it i have a very good excuse for every time that i do it <laughs> Oh, my God.